What is up guys, welcome back. So over the last 30 days, I did every single 30 day Matt Diavella challenge at once. So that included having cold showers, meditating, no sugar, and waking up at 5 a.m. There was also no social media, but I didn't do that one for a reason you'll see in a coming video. So without further ado, here is my experience over the last 30 days, but first, I need a coffee. Oh. Shit. What's up guys? Um, so this is day one of the uh, Matt Diavella everything challenge. So it's 5 a.m. Um, Yeah. <laughs> Not looking forward to this. No, we go! That is sub zero. Guaranteed. So, I'm not sure if anyone else has experienced this, but I just finished the uh, first meditation, day one meditation, and I fell asleep. <laughs> I found that it's very hard all the time, just the, the smallest things, you know, scratching my head, slightly overheating, slightly underheating, just tiny little things I was finding myself fixing just for the sake of it, just because there was nothing else to think about. So there's a lot of work to be done, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I feel insanely good right now. Like I've never felt so good after a shower in my life. Like just walking around right now, it's sort of comparable to yoga. Anytime I've done yoga, this is how I feel. And I feel like this right now and it's so nice. Today is day six. Now, unfortunately, I slept through all three of my alarms today, and I woke up at eight, so that was a little bit disappointing, and I didn't even feel particularly tired. So far, the sleep's actually been good for me. I've found that I've just been able to get more done, and to be honest, it's been great. The no sugar challenge hasn't really been an issue for me. I have had to turn down the odd, uh, the odd dessert, but yeah, just wanted to do a quick update on that, uh sleeping through alarm situation. I think I need some extra motivation, so I'm calling on my pet rock, Natalie, to help me out. She is incredible with the showers. She doesn't even flinch. She hasn't had any cravings whatsoever. She literally doesn't sleep. She's just always, I've, I've never woken up before her. She literally meditates like there's no tomorrow. So the cold showers are going surprisingly well. I thought that I would dread it every day. To a certain extent I do. Once I get out it actually seems like it's worth it and it's almost tempting to just not stop after the 30 days. I take that back. I will not be doing cold showers after the end of this challenge. I repeat, I will not be doing cold showers after the end of this challenge. Ah, the meditation. <laughs> That's the one that's going the least well. I find it really difficult to just get into a mindset where I settle down and I actually focus on the sessions. So yeah, that's something which sort of the last half of the challenge I'm hoping is going to change. I've got to say the cold showers are starting to get really difficult. I swear they've got colder. I've got nothing to check the temperature of the water, annoyingly. The weather has definitely got colder and it seems that from that colder weather, the ground gets colder the pipes carrying the water get colder and the water gets colder. So that leads to a colder shower, I think. The meditation very quickly dropped from the supposed one hour to 10 to 20 minutes. Um, I just mad respect to anyone who's done one hour for 30 days. I think I might have cracked the code here. I've decided to start doing the meditations in the morning as opposed to the evening because in the evening I keep falling asleep and there are a lot more distractions because everyone in the house is awake. So the last couple of days of doing it in the morning I've actually been able to focus a lot better and I can't believe I didn't do it a little bit sooner. Day 30, post run. It is time.
my friends. It was mind blowing. This has been a really cool experience, especially sort of trying to juggle doing these things at the same time. And definitely I have improved moving forward. I've definitely found some self-improvement. So I'm super excited to continue with some stuff, to definitely not continue with some other stuff. And apart from that, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.